They saying he's so cool, or he's awesome. What's up? Yep, I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. No Bryson Tiller. Anyways, unless you live under a rock and don't have social media, you know, you don't have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, there's been something going on about a certain man that's been in the news a lot lately. Yep, I'm talking about <sighs> T-Raw. Wait a minute, my name start with T too. Can I call myself T-Raw? Yes, I'm talking about Tyga, AKA Kylie Jenner's boyfriend, AKA King Gold Chains, AKA Tandem L 2015. Mr. Well Done, Mr. Gold Chains, Mr. Lambo Luxury. Yeah, well, it's not looking very luxurious for him right now. I'm gonna start off by saying these are all allegations. I don't know either of them, so I don't know the full story. And all y'all gotta stop acting like you know the full story, because you don't know nobody. So, according to OK Magazine, Tygo's talked to this girl named Molly O'Malia, or O'Malia. One of those, okay, it's some white girl. He slid in the DMs like most of us do time to time. You know, sometimes you gotta get a little bit of DM action. Him, I don't really know why, because he got a Kylie and Kylie. Yo, if you tell me Kylie's not bad, you're just a hater. You're gonna be like, oh, she got work done, she did that, she did that. I, does, does this look like the face of someone that cares? So they basically said that this girl was the reason why Tyga and Kylie broke up. Did I forget to mention that this little girl is 14 years old? <laughs> yes, 14 years old. Can't get a job, can't get a license. I swear you can't even get into all ages parties at 14. Now all the internet had to do was hear Tyga and 14 and they just went ham. Tyga's a pedophile, Tyga did this, Tyga did that, underage, underage, blah, blah, blah. Yo, yo, yo. Chill, chill, chill. So she did a press conference with a lawyer crying on stage talking about <laughs> I felt uncomfortable when he said he wanted to FaceTime me multiple times and I didn't want to. I thought he was contacting me about my music but when I realized he just wanted to FaceTime I wasn't comfortable. And hmm, oh really? <laughs> Exhibit A, text messages, boom, boom, boom. Now if these indeed are the real text messages, you could clearly see that this girl said that she's 17 years old. But before I even get into that, boom, boom, boom. Does this girl look 14 to you? <laughs> <laughs> Not to me. Tiger's manager said nah. He saw that she had like a, a musical following and wanted to talk to her to see if like she would sign to like his record label or something and they wanted to FaceTime so he could hear her sing when he was in like the studio with a bunch of producers. See now that makes sense. Don't play yourself, Tiger. That makes sense. Not the way that the internet's trying to finesse and finagle Tiger into another L, the first L of 2016. Give him a break. Just give him a break, please. I'm actually tired of the world shitting on Tiger. What did he do? Like, what did he do to you? You don't know the man. Y'all just love to hate. Everyone trying to say, oh, Tiger's a whack rapper. Like, y'all weren't turning up to Rack City. Y'all weren't turning up to I'm so raw. Turn the oven on. Chef Papa John. I get the Parmesan. Yo, Tiger had a few tracks, bro. You're telling me those well done mixtapes weren't decent? Fan of a fan wasn't decent? Come on, bro. Don't play yourself. He's obviously no J. Cole. He's not Kendrick. But everyone's not J. Cole or Kendrick. Sometimes you just need that type of music. I, for one, enjoy some Tiger here and there you know obviously i'm not listening to his music all the time i ain't a part of tiger hive or whatever he, the the tiger cubs the tiger the, the, the tiger cats the, um whatever his fan base would be called all this did was raise up the whole thing again about tiger loves to talk to underage girl like he was talking to kylie when she was 17. see i didn't even really believe that when it came out because i didn't think her family was gonna let their youngest daughter date a 25 year old rapper that has a son with a stripper because i'm pretty sure black china wants to bust kylie's ass but hey it ended up being true i didn't believe that bruce was gonna turn into caitlin and that happened too but you can't even put it all on him she been scheming low key what do you mean oh boom 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 it seems that little kylie had a little crush on mr tiger tiger and then when she magically just skipped from like 15 to 20 and started looking like a 21 year old Hey man, hey, hey, we all we all do some questionable things, bro. It just so happened that yours was up 
for everybody to see. Now, I know certain mans that do not care the if she 15, I'm 15 type mans. They are out there, so don't ever play yourself. Honestly, in this whole video, I'm just playing devil's advocate, but correct me if I'm wrong. Don't most of you girls like older guys? If a 26 year old tried to talk to you and he came with the right bars and he was mm, 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 bar, 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 some of y'all foolish ass dumb girls would fall for it. Facts. But I'm getting off track. I don't see how, she, where, where in all of those text messages was she uncomfortable? She said she was 17. She didn't even say she was 14. So off the bat, she was lying. If they were to sue him, what are they gonna sue him for? Because technically, he didn't do anything wrong. It's not illegal to talk to someone underage as long as he didn't say anything like sexual or suggestive. 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 What are they gonna sue him for? Sliding in a DM? If, if that was the case, all of us would have life, including me. But y'all going in on him, putting baby bottles in his Instagram comments, straight roasting him on the timeline, calling him a pedophile. Fam, do you know how serious of a word pedophile is? Y'all are tripping. But she did try to come and say that the whole thing wasn't really directed at Tyga. It was directed at the magazine for putting her story out there without like her consent and stuff because apparently they didn't blur her picture enough and everybody knew who she was. So this isn't really about Tyga, but the world is definitely gonna make it about Tyga. Yo, Tyga, if you ever see this video, you have a Kardashian, bro. You're winning. You're winning. And I'll see you soon because I'm a bad candle in the next five, five, ten, in the next few years. <laughs> what? Y'all think it's a joke? No, I'm marrying Kendall, bro. You think it's a joke? You didn't see her turning up to future? Hey, hey, I'm gonna be right behind her. Hey, hey, just watch, just watch. But that's all I got to say about that. I just wanted to do that real quick. Like it's late as hell, but I really felt like this was a necessity to do. So I'm about to go to bed. Haul at you guys later. <laughs> Don't ever play yourself. I'm out. Oh, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Tell me what you think about this situation. You think Tyga was right? You think the little girl was right? What's going on? Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Vine, Snapchat, all that good stuff. I'm gonna put it up. <laughs> yeah.